Hi everyone, this is Animal Love Back 101, and I'm going to be doing a video about my hamster organization. Okay. And in a different video, I think I would do a cage shooter, but not in this one. Okay. So, um, I did use for my stands for my hamster cages. I use these plastic bins and file things. They hold files, I think they're supposed to, <laughs> at least. I got them from Walmart a long time ago, before I even had a hamster, and they're green. <laughs> I forgot how much they would cost, but um, uh, you can probably buy them from Walmart, Target, um, any office supply store. And the cuter colors are around the time that school starts, or else you get like black or something. <laughs> and I'm not the biggest person on black, I like green. As you can see, this is green, this is green, this is green, half of this is green. I also like pink too, but green's my favorite. So anyways, brings to this, um, my hamster ball. She runs around in it, it's at easy access, all I have to do is reach for it, very easy access. Um, and right down here is her hamster ball's lid, which I put right here, and it doesn't move around, really. Um, so that works out really well. In here. I have my hamster food and treats, and sometimes I get her treats from my kitchen that are just normal human food available for hamsters. Okay, these are um, yogurt drops with, for strawberry flavor. They're for all small pets. It says here on the back. You probably can't read it right here. But I, although it does just have a picture of these, a, ra a rabbit and a guinea pig. It's for all small pets, and it usually says if it's not safe for a certain pet. So. Always check your labels. Um, and this is Ecotrician um, Essential Blend Hamster and Dribble Food. And I love this brand. And um, you can hear more about these in my hamster diet video. I just put the bags in this container and put the container right here. So, yeah. Over in this one, I have more stuff. And, um, but right in between the things, I have an Airwick, um, smelly thingy <laughs> with that, um, also is a night light. Um, and it helps for when I start to need to clean her out of her cage. And it kind of starts to get that little hamster smell. Um, it has it right now, so I really need to clean it. But, uh, it kind of helps make the smell a little less and make it smell better, but I need to really refill it, refill it. Now in this section right here, I have this basket that's older than dinosaurs. You can probably get out um this place like uh I guess Dollar Tree. It's pretty old. I had it for a long time. <laughs> in it I have toilet paper. Just got it from my bathroom <laughs> or any bathroom or I guess you could get it from just about any bathroom you should find toilet paper and I usually just tear off little pieces and tear, if they tear <laughs> eh. and just I don't know stuff little pieces in places like get it in here and I come out all different places and she usually forage, um, goes around picks them up and that is an instinct and kind of helps her instincts to nest and build nests and stuff right there. So yeah, I enjoy doing that. Um, it's really fun to watch her. Next is a tube. And um, tubes, of course, you can get from toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls. And so they work really well as fun little tubes for hamsters and are super cheap because they're basically trash. Or you can make all sorts of different um, toys with other things. We can just cut these and make a whole maze of tubes. These are like the universal hamster cheap toy. They're awesome. They don't know what they were inventing when they, the Victorians created toilet paper. I'm pretty sure it's the Victorians that created toilet paper. But anyways, that's a different story of my obsession with horrible histories. Best British TV show in the world, although I live in the United States. <laughs> Um, this is a blanket I put over this one. Well, I put it over better, but um, put 
put it over this cage when it gets really cold. And here is a box I need to do something with. Um, usually I just lay it down when I do um, bathtub time. And I have a video about doing that. And this is a, um, how to put the cage together and stuff like that. So that's that. And here is a box. It says hamster stuff. And um, you can see it looks a lot like it except it's shoe box size. And my fish and wild stuff video. Lift off the lid. And you got all this junk. Um, sorry, I had to move my mouse. Um, this is just a bunny you put together. And I think I'm going to put... I got it this last year on Easter. It had candy in it. And I think I'm going to put, like, tr um, treat presents for her Easter in there. <sighs> Too loud. Um, got hamster potty and she can never learn how to use it. Yeah, I'm getting my laptop. She could never end up how I'm learning how to use it. She used it more as a bed than potty. This is just a plastic tub in there for no apparent reason. These are these are older water bottles she had. They came with the cages. Um but they leaked all the time and so I got this one. Actually, I used my sister's water bottle. Um, this is a larger hideaway home. And really easy to make. Another universal hamster toy that's easy to make. And you can do so many amazing things. And if you want to get super creative, you can connect. Look, getting creative here. Connect the... Connect it, yeah. Getting creative, aren't I? Um, here's a hamster wheel. It's just extra. Um, random stuffed mouse, um, pot, a bag for cleaning cages, an extra food bowl. I don't know why I have these. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, my friend, she got a rabbit for like a day, and because she used these, she couldn't take them back really. But, um, they're just vitamin drops, and she, she didn't get the responsible you had to be to have on all the things you need to buy for a rabbit. So she ended up taking it back. Um, but I don't know. Her mom thought I had guinea pigs instead of hamster. And so I have not that for no apparent reason. Just don't use vitamin drops for a pet. They're not good for them. Unless a vet tells you to. This is a hamster potty scoop. And I, you can hang it right, right on the side of the cage. If you have a guard cage, and I only recommend a guard cage. This is a toothbrush. You can brush their fur with. But mine is too skittish to brush. I use this as a hideout sometimes. And that's everything. So, yeah, that's everything. Um, just have fun with your hamster. And comment, rate, and subscribe. I guess, and request. And I guess that's it. Um, new videos to come. Oh, and you, that one person, I forgot your name, your channel name, but, um, you requested the one on hamster diet. The one on hamster bedding is going to have to wait because I, um, thought I was going to be able to clean my hamster's cage so I could get out my bedding today. But, like, everything, uh, the school, going back to school, um, got way too busy and, um, I will try to do that sometime this week. But anyways, I need to clean my hamster cage. She's like... A little stinky. So anyways, bye. And cinnamon's over in that cage somewhere, so bye.